Hi again guys, today we're going to be working with our buddy Sam again and eventually we'll be galloping and so forth but it's a long process, you know, I know. so we just get to know each other, you know, really well. Morning. Good. 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 How are you? Good. Great. Well, horses are over here, and I thought we'd start in the back court. Went Simon is our equine expert, and Dr. Fleur and Burke Meyer is our holistic psychologist, psychiatrist. Okay, we're working with Sam again today. Eventually we're going to gallop and all, but uh, first we're just going to do exercises, you know. Takes, uh, take it slow and easy. Sam is one of the older horses here. Uh, he's really easy going, though, and very friendly, very sensitive. Getting the mounting block. Or Check out our magnificent New Mexico western sky. Loosened up and uh, very nice, moving free and easy, just like uh, Sam will be. <laughs> Sam's my pal, my buddy, my chum. That's a really great exercise. And see if you can match your breath to the horse's breath. You can, you can feel his ribs moving between your legs. The idea is to synchronize your um, breathing as much as you can with horses breathing. I think 
Sam is 16 hands high. And he's got a big heart. Yeah. So you guys have to communicate, which, uh, so Ron and Leah, regardless of So Ron and Leah, both of you communicate which direction you're going to go so that both your minds are in the same direction because he's really going to read your minds more than the rope signals. So talk to each other what you're going to do so that he doesn't get two conflicting signals. Saying that the horses uh, read our minds is not figurative. Yes, that yes. is literal. He really yes. does know what we're thinking. What I'm going to do is called emergency dismount, or as we call it, uh, hug and roll. Well, and you get, you get... And actually, see if you can make a giant figure eight. You know, he's pushing his rear legs back. I wonder if he has to pee. You know, after that morning coffee. Take him in the bed here pretty soon. I'm actually going to have to wait for that. I'm going to suggest that he's always been cow hogging. Okay. But there's been sort of a turn in his way out. Yeah, I see that. I don't know if he's got some weakness going in the back leg. Has Nick been riding him regularly? Yeah, Nick gets on goes. Uh, yeah, Nick. I'd not rather, but that old school, you know. Pay a whole lot of attention. Get that? Yes, very nice. I got the hug and roll. Say, so, Leah, you want to try? You want to just sit on him? Or the other thing we can do is that you can each hug him from, you know, one of you on each side and like belly to belly, and then you guys, he, you breathe with him. That's a really nice exercise where one of you on one side, one of you on the other side, and just. Uh, you can go a little further back next to his belly so that his belly and your belly touch. And you know, that's a very potentially scary position for a horse to be between two predators, but it's your intention, that loving intention that he picks up on so he feels safe with both of you surrounding him. <laughs> because humans are so front Leo face. And Ron communicate if, if you um. Horses You're doing different things that's going to confuse them to communicate. Yeah, you could actually and, do that. You could both sit down a little further prey, away uh, simply see if he'll come over. Due to the fact that their eyes are side-facing, yeah, like not forward-facing like like ours. But of course, once they get to know and trust us, they no longer consider us predators. We put the rope near them. <laughs> He's absolutely fascinated with that rope. Our patient teacher of patience. That's right, the horses teaches patience. But he's releasing Calmness something also, and, uh, so. But, and he did wait. acknowledge us, he did, he did acknowledge you. Move slowly. Yeah, I've got to get the fly mask before we take him out. Some more sunscreen too, that nose. Well, maybe that's... When you're with the horses, you tend to live in the present. From him, so maybe we should just do. lead him out to take him. Is the emergency dismount, otherwise known as hug and roll.
Right. And I could tell like five, ten minutes ago he felt he was done. Florian is saying that <clears throat> ten minutes ago Sam was tired and ready to pack it in. Thanks for being with us and please uh, join us every month. Our uh, <coughs> Florin Berkmeyer is our um, psychologist, holistic psychologist. And Wynne Simon is our equine expert. Thank you. Hope to see you next month. Thanks a lot, guys. Mm -hmm.